and welcome to our weekly haul. I am so excited because I have some new indie releases. I'm gonna show you how I got this eye look. I have some new drugstore makeup, some new to me brands, some luxury makeup, some skincare. I've been doing some shopping and I'm excited to show everything to y'all, to swatch everything, to play, and just to talk about makeup because I love makeup and I'm just in such a good mood. I'm ready to sit down and talk with y'all. Let me show you what I bought. I bought two new lip liners from e.l.f. These are a part of their $2 lip liner line. I know e.l.f. has several different types of lip liners or different formulas, but these are the ones that are $2. And I have to say, like, let me just go ahead and complain, okay? The shade names are not printed on these lip liners. How am I gonna remember what shades these are? I've already used both of these this week. Let me, let me just go ahead and show you that I kept the plastic that they come in so that I could tell y'all what colors these are because I am never gonna remember this again. And I'm kind of bummed because, yeah, they're $2, I understand. But what happens when I like run out? How am I gonna know what shade I wanna re repurchase? So let me say it here to document. <laughs> this is Baddest Beige and I did use this one already. This is a really pretty color. I know like I already used it on my lips but also wanna show you like there's this swatch right there. That's so pretty, right? Like that's so pretty and for $2, I think the formula feels nice. I've only worn that one once and I've worn this one that I'm wearing today for the first time. I keep looking at the thing. This one is Spill the Tea. Time will tell what I really think of the formula, but there's Spill the Tea right there. I like the shade range they had. I think they had some really pretty like brown type of colors, which I really like and I, I'm feeling the lip liner look today. So that was the first purchase that I made. And then I also bought a lip liner from Rimmel. I think Rimmel, right? This is 705 Cappuccino. And I have not tried this one on the lips yet. So I thought we would swatch it together. I bought this one on Amazon and I will link to everything I talk about down below. But do you see? Oh, it's like a gray brown, like a cool brown, like almost a purpley brown. And I am feeling that shade. I'm feeling that shade. I don't know what was with me. I was on a lip liner kick. Like I, I bought another one. Okay. I bought another one. This is a NYX lip liner and dang it all. It has this packaging that takes me forever <laughs> to open. It's such good packaging and that, you know, like nobody has used your lip liner and it's clean, but it, it, like, let me have a few years to open this and I'll be right back. We did it. We did it, y'all. Do I look older? I feel older. Let me show you this lip liner. Let me show you this lip liner. This is Global Citizen from NYX. And, you know, I think this is beautiful. That one's definitely, like, the lightest of the three. It's kind of more like a pinky nude for me. Can you see? Can you see? My skin is hydrated, so it's catching the light when I'm trying to show y'all. There we go. I'm excited to try it. I have not tried this formula from NYX. I usually have the ones that are in the pencil, like the suede lip liners, but this is the Line Loud lip pencil. So we will test it and try it, and I will keep you updated on what I think. Also bought some more sponges. This may not be super exciting. It's not, but to me it was because I was looking at getting those lip liners on Amazon and I'm like, let me get some more sponges. And I remember that I had liked the AOA pawpaw sponge. So I added those to cart and then I saw that they had a multi-pack and I could try multiple different sponges from the brand. So yeah, I've already dirtied two of them up. I use this orange one today and the pink one is the classic, but look at this, it's the Blender Vault. And I am looking forward to trying the other ones. It came really cute. Like all the sponges like sit in their little houses. So I tried the pawpaw and then I think that one was the super soft, the orange. And I think this is the OG. I don't know, I may have gotten them out of order, honestly. But this one is like a microfiber sponge. I like these, they apply really well. I haven't tried one from this brand, but in general, I do like a microfiber sponge. And then this one, the, the Mochi, we'll see. Listen, it's just sponges, I know, but it's like something I needed. And I was excited to find this cute little multi-pack. I don't know why I'm putting them back in the box. Like, y'all saw it, okay? It came 
cute like this. I do have some more things that I bought, but let me jump over and show you this bronzer that YSL sent me. I'm so excited. This is the All Hours Hyper Bronze. The packaging is so luxurious. Are you kidding me? Like so luxe. My friend Karen Harris bought this bronzer and she was talking about how beautiful the packaging was. And I know she bought shade four. This is shade Three. So I will link to Karen's channel down below, but this is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It's the first time I'm wearing this. It just came in the mail today. I really like the tone of this bronzer. I think it's going to work so well for me. It has that kind of like goldeny tone to it. Oh, it feels so luxurious too. And I just am so looking forward to trying it even more, but that tone of bronzer, I really like. I'm so glad they sent me this shade because I think it's gonna work so well for my olive warm leaning skin. I mean, I love the way it looks today. I have it on with the very orangey, peachy, intense blushed look. So it's not all about the bronzer today, but I'm definitely looking forward to using this more because it applied beautifully. It looks beautiful. If you missed it, I did a whole video on the viral tear tear red cushion foundation. In that video, I had a shade that was too light for me. And I said that I was really enjoying it and I was going to buy another shade. And I did. <laughs> I bought another shade. I'm wearing this foundation today. I've worn it the past couple of days because it's just so pretty. And really looking at the swatches and trying to tell the undertone of the swatches, I felt like 31N was going to be good for me. I had bought some sample cards and 31N, I bought it. And I just enjoy this so much. And it's $25, which I feel like is pretty good price point considering some covergirl foundations are twenty dollars these days i'm like okay tier tier i'm here for it i'm so excited lunar beauty sent me all of their blushes because i was definitely planning to purchase these absolutely love lunar beauty i have bought so many of their launches i think i have like almost everything because I can't. I need it all. So I was so excited when Lunar Beauty sent me these and I have been able to wear a couple. So I wanted to show you those on the face. I think so far this is a beautiful formula. Now I've only been using it for this week. So I'm like definitely not giving you a review, but my first impression is that they are easy to blend pigmented but not so pigmented that they're like unworkable. So I'm really looking forward to trying all of the shades. I think they're so beautiful. I thought maybe we could like swatch them all out on my hand together just so you could kind of see the shades. We'll start with the two that I've already worn on my face. So the one I'm wearing today obviously is Pumpkin Poppy and I went in with this blush, okay? I wanted to have a blushed focus type of look and that's what I got today. So if you're like, oh girl, I don't know if I wanted that pigmented. It's okay. You don't have to like go as hard as I went with the blush today. There it is right there on my hand. Pumpkin Poppy. I love that name. I love that name. And look at this component. I didn't even point it out. Like it looks like Lunar Beauty packaging, like the lip products without the crystal up top. Just very sleek, very pretty. The other shade I wore was Fuego Fuchsia. So let me show you that one on my hand too, right here. That beautiful, beautiful pink color. I didn't point out the box earlier, but it's really beautiful with Lunar Beauty and these like holographic stars. I think it's cute, like very giftable, right? So this is the blush in Mauve Mommy. That's gorgeous. Catch me in this blush shade all the time. Like that is gorgeous, gorgeous. Precursor pink, okay, ooh. Y'all know I love a pink like this. Y'all know I love a pink like this. If you want to really like make your blush pop or do something different, pick a blush that contrasts your skin tone. A cool pink like this on my warmer olive skin is going to really like, wow, pop, pop. Do something the opposite, try it, okay? It's almost like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm here for it, it's beautiful. Let's look at these other shades though, okay? Because I could go on and on. Rose Rihanna, that is beautiful. I could see that being a lot of people's favorite blush. Like that is the type of blush, I could think of like 10 people that I know off the top of my head in my life that would love this color blush. Very beautiful. And you see it's like this bigger, 
chunky doe foot. Like it's a chunky doe foot and we like that. That's really pretty. Okay, one more shade, Bloom Bella. Oh, okay, maybe this one will be the one most people like. Let me look at that. Ooh, maybe that one. Maybe actually that would be the most popular shade. It's a little deeper than the other one we swatched though. So I don't know, but those two, I, I bet those are the two best sellers. I think people will really get on with these shades. Look at me knocking stuff over. Gourmand Girls launched some new products. Gourmand Girls is a woman owned, independently owned brand that I enjoy so, so much. So they sent me one of their new lip oils and I have worn this on the lips once. This is the shade Juicy Cherry. And I have to say, I was not a fan of the scent. The scent is very children's Tylenol cherry flavor. And maybe that's just me. Like maybe I'm scarred for life with that scent. I, that's just what I got when I put it on the lips. But the formula I thought was really, really nice. I know they offer other scents and shades. The star of the show is the Peach Perfect palette. It is what I have on my eyes today. That is so pretty, right? We have these beautiful peachy tones. We have this beautiful neutral brown, but we have these greens too. Both of the looks I'm gonna show you are pretty peachy. I just can't help myself. When I look at this palette, my eyes just go straight to the peaches. I think this formula is so gorgeous. There are two like holochrome types of shades in here. Of course, like the peachy holochrome, and then we have a green holochrome. I like that we got a peach themed palette without it just being a monochromatic palette. So I do have an affiliated code with the brand. If you're ever shopping on the Gourmand Girl site, you can use code Heather and that will give you a discount. I think this is really, really a beautiful color story. We have some beautiful embossings on the pan. We have a nice large mirror in this palette. Overall, it's just really gorgeous. I like that we have a really light mint green in here. I like that we have some deeper shades. I think this is a well thought out palette and I think Gourmand Girls is just really creating some beautiful things. This palette is available now so of course I will have it linked down below. It's a gorgeous 15 pin palette. I think there are options with the looks you can create in here. You can definitely mix all of these shades, create light looks, dark looks, do what you want to do. Like I like a palette that gives me options and this definitely gives me options you know I just had to show y'all like I was so excited I had to create with it and I want to show my looks of course it's what I'm wearing today and everything just blended beautifully now again this isn't a review once I've tried all the shades in the palette on my eyes and all of that I will follow up a review on this but so far the shades I've used have been pigmented and easy to blend really really beautiful and I just feel so great in my look today. Odin's Eye also launched their new collection, the Solmon 2 collection, an expansion of the line. This is the Moon Wish palette. So I won't spend too long talking about this palette. I mean, look at it. I did do a whole video on this palette. I did three looks using this palette. We used every single shade on the eyes in that video. And I mean, I love Odin's Eye. I think they make amazing quality shadows. So if you're looking for some inspiration or maybe you're not even interested in this palette, you wanna shop your stash for colors, definitely check out that video because like I said, I did three very different looks. So maybe you can get some inspiration, but if you were curious about the palette at all, definitely check it out. There are also blush and highlighters in the collection. In my video, I swatch all of these on my arm and I swatch them all on the face so that you can really see there's two matte blushes, a glowy blush, and then three highlighters. So again, I, I won't say too much. You can definitely watch that video and I'll have it linked in the cards for you. The Inky List sent me some pimple patches. This is Invisible Pimple Patches, clinically proven to target breakouts fast for blemishes with a head and visible gunk. Eh, but necessary. You know, I love a pimple patch. <laughs> it's so easy just to slap one on and know that your breakout is being targeted, treated. So I am excited to try these because I'm pretty sure these are new to the Inky List line. I've never seen these or I definitely would have tried them. Thalacidolic acid in here, which I know is really, really good for breakouts. And yeah, I'll definitely be trying these out. I placed an order with Prequel. I love Prequel. I know I've talked about them in my hauls before. They are such good skincare brand and I have not tried everything from the line 
but I kind of want to. I'm on my way, okay? I haven't bought everything yet, but I've bought a lot. So let me kind of show you. I ordered this because I could tell I was running low. This is the prequel Universal Skin Solution Dermal Spray for Face and Body. And this has hypochlorous acid in that, which my skin really likes. I actually ran out of this two nights ago. So I'm so thankful that my order came today because I need this. I love to use this on my face, on my chest. I say this every time I talk about prequel, but if you have not heard of the brand, they make products that are so good that are in that like naturium price point. So a little more expensive than like Neutrogena, CeraVe, a little more expensive than drugstore, but like the fancy side of Target is kind of the price point. Like I said, like Naturium. Everything is like under $30, 18 to 26, something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll link it for y'all. But this is safe for sensitive skin, safe for eczema prone skin, which I need, I need. I don't want any body products that are irritating to my eczema. So I just, I love this. I love this stuff, I love it, and I have another one. And I'm kinda like, dang, I should've just ordered two because I do use that every single day, but that's okay, like, that's okay. I'm sure they'll come out with something else and I'll need something else from them. But the product that's new to their line, and I bought it, is Multi Quench Plumping Hydration Serum. This is a multi-level rehydration serum with dual weight polyglutamic acid glycerin. Oh, I'm excited. I actually used this before I got ready today because I'm like, oh, let me try it. Let me try the texture. It feels like a very nice, thin, clear serum. I mean, I like this packaging. I'm excited to use this. It is safe for sensitive skin, safe for eczema prone skin. Okay. So I, I won't go on and on and on about this. This is the brand from Dr. Sam Ellis. I believe I will link her channel down below. I actually started using prequel before I knew that the creator made YouTube videos. <laughs> so I will link the video talking about this serum down below because then after I was loving the products, I think I had already made a couple of orders. I was like, oh, there's a whole like dermatologist, YouTube creator, explanation video behind this line, I'm in. Okay, I've been talking about this stuff way too much. I'm excited. I did buy their vitamin C serum. I have a vitamin C serum that I'm really liking right now for matter of fact, but this one is so much less expensive. So I wanna try it and see if it's just as good. And then I bought all three of their utility products, okay? I bought all three. I bought the Skin Utility Gel, to moisturize and accelerate the recovery of skin. That's the one I think that's supposed to be best for oily skin, I'm pretty sure. I bought the Skin Utility Ointment to protect and soothe dry, chapped, and cracked and irritated skin. And I bought the Skin Utility Balm, multi-purpose skin protectant for dry, sensitized, or compromised skin. Yes, I did buy all three of these. I know you can buy them like based on your skin type, but I was too curious. I thought I would try them. I got a package from Swede Beauty and this is a new to me brand. This is a indie brand out of Sweden and this was created by a pro makeup artist. So they asked if they could send me a couple of products and I'm like, mm, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. They have some really beautiful looking products. So let me show show you. This is the Swede Cloud Mascara in black. And the packaging is so cute. You see it's like this Tiffany blue mint type of color and it has these clouds on it. I used this for the first time today. So I will always let you know that I don't typically love mascaras when they're new. I like them after a week or so of trying them. They're not quite as wet. But this is what my lashes look like before I put on my half lash today. And I think it's pretty impressive considering it's the first time I ever used the mascara. So I'm excited to use this over the next few weeks and see what I really, really think about this. And I just, I think this packaging is adorable. I also have the Pro Eyelash Serum. I'm gonna be using this. I'm looking forward to it. It says it's a high performance serum with conditioning and nursing agents. And it says 
97% of people that tried it experience that their lashes are longer, 94% say they're fuller, and 82% of people got compliments. Hey, I like that. Okay, I like that. It says um, that was done after use of four to six weeks. So like most serums, you do have to give them a little time, but I'm gonna start using this tonight. They also sent me two of their eyeliners. This is the Satin Eyeliner, and this shade is Bordeaux. Ooh. On one end, you have like a little smudgy like tool and you have the color of the eyeliner which i appreciate it makes it so convenient when you're looking for something because this is going to stand out like this mint color with the shade of the eyeliner this color is gorgeous burgundy brown shade really really beautiful and the other shade that they sent me is mint and again we have the shade on the packaging and the little smudger and this is like a brown gray grayish type of shade look at at that isn't that beautiful like I really like that color the formula of this like I said I only used this one one time but it stayed on my waterline all day I've only worn it one day so it's not a review just a first impression but it stayed and it was smooth to apply which I really like y'all I love the Netflix show Outer Banks, okay? I love it. I love it. Kooks versus Pogues, Treasure Hunt, everything. I love that show. And Lottie London did a collab with Outer Banks and they sent it to me and I'm so excited. I don't know how, like, how did I not know about this collab? I'm wearing one of the products on my lips. Let me tell you, with that e.l.f. lip liner, I'm wearing the Kook proof lip and cheek balm. I haven't not tried this on my cheeks, but I do have it on my lips and I think it's so cute. I want to use it on my cheeks, but this is just so adorable. Like on the top, on the lid of this, it says surf shop, OBX, outer banks, paradise on earth. Like it is so cute. It's like makeup is merch, right? And there is another shade. This one, look, it's so pretty, has a beautiful shimmer to it. This is called dusky pink. Did I say what the other one was called? Yeah. Beach bronze. Sorry. I thought it was kook proof. The kook proof lip and cheek balm is the name of the product. So I'm excited, like a highlighting lip and cheek balm. And then again, it has that cute package and just really like I love a theme I think this is such a fun collab and I love that it's at that Lottie London price point because you can get like the whole collection for $50 or you can buy it individually we like that I'm also wearing today Outer Banks Treasure Map Glow Brick this is so cute so they say you can use this on the cheeks or the eyes or whatever so I use the top two shades as like a highlight topper blush topper type of situation for today and it's so like I love the name I think this is so adorable and there is like a body oil this is called the gold um, that's like classic perfect whoever came up with this name the names of these products the theme a plus plus give them a gold star give them a raise give them a corner office okay this is a multi-purpose dry oil for face body and hair I cannot wait to try this. I cannot wait to try this. I want to try it, probably not my face, but I want to try it on my body and I want to try it on my hair. This is Champagne Glow. And this is so pretty. I just love the name. They're just the gold. I love that. There are a couple more products. We have the Outer Banks P4L Lip peptide poke for life if you haven't seen the show like I still think these products are really cute but I mean obviously I do think this is for the the fans of the show so we have a little lip balm and I bought so many lip balms in my last haul and I said I want to work on like a lip balm video to let you know what's best I'm trying to smell and I think maybe it has like a vanilla or coconut scent I'll have to get it on the lips to really know but you can see it's kind of like glossy clear cute i'm excited peptides shea butter vitamin e this is so adorable it makes me so happy the last thing in this lottie london collection is the pogues eye and face palette i have not got to use this one yet but let me show you this is so cute so there's two little blushes in here and some like eye products maybe we could use this on the face as a highlight I don't know. I just think this is like adorable. Look at the surfboards and the smiley. 
It's very on theme. It is very on theme and I'm here for it. All right, y'all, that is all we have to talk about today. I did place a Sephora order. I bought the new Danessa Myricks concealer. I'm just waiting for it to come. I think things are just moving a little slow because we did have a holiday here in the US. So hopefully it will come soon. I cannot wait to try it. It'll definitely be in next week's haul. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you love makeup as much as I do, please stick around. Talk with me in the comments. Let me know what you're excited about, what you're not excited about, what new things you want to talk about. I love talking makeup. I can talk about it all day. I talk about it so much here on my channel. So I would love if you would stick around and hang out with me.